Breaking news right now in the Live Alert Center. Police now on their way to East Price Hill where a shooting was just reported minutes ago. We just got off the phone with authorities. We've been checking overnight and Allegiant Air has added a Cincinnati option to its website. I want to show you it right here. They have since taken this option down. The power just came back on in this neighborhood about an hour and a half ago, but you can still see right now debris covering the road, tree branches off the trees right now. I also want to show you this house behind me. More on breaking news on a SWAT situation in West Price Hill that has Seton and Elder High Schools on lockdown. We've got a live look at the scene for you right now. Brian, it could still be several hours before we find out if Moore will receive the death penalty. Now, Moore's brother, Warren Moore III, also referred to as Smitty, just finished testifying. He was very emotional when talking about his parents' murder, but it's the last thing he said that brought him to tears. We're hearing more from the family of a second man who died overnight after the fatal crash that also killed a UC football player. 18 year old Sean Van Dyne died overnight at UC Medical Center. You want to make sure that the lap belt fits closely on top of the upper thighs and the shoulder belt comes directly in the center of the shoulders. You don't want the shoulder belt to be falling off the shoulders or too tight on your child's neck. Alzheimer's disease now affects almost one in nine Americans over the age of 65. This weekend, you can take a step towards ending this devastating disease. 7175 southbound shut down just minutes ago here at the Mount Zion Road exit. I want to step out so you can see what's going on. That's because of this overturned semi truck. Popular late night restaurant for UC students was just robbed at gunpoint. Now this happened just over an hour ago at the newly opened Waffle House here at U Square at the Loop. I'm told it's not just the younger female gorillas that are infatuated with Gladys. It's also the main man and the silverback gorilla here at the zoo. I'm told he just adores Gladys and that is a very good sign. This is the intersection that has Northern Kentucky residents talking this week. We're standing along Madison Pike, also known as Kentucky 17 or 3L, just past Dudley Road. You can see just how busy this intersection gets during rush hour. Watch as this driver makes a left turn out of this service road and into oncoming traffic on Madison Pike. It's a close call. But right now, it's perfectly legal, and it's the same turn 25-year-old Kathleen Reisen was making Thursday when she was hit by a school bus and killed. Just after the accident, we asked police about the dangers of this intersection. It's a very difficult intersection to get out of, particularly for um, at rush hour and especially trying to cross the southbound lanes to make that turn to northbound. Now northern Kentucky residents, including Reisen's family, are pushing for something to be done. That intersection, they need to make it where nobody can turn left out of there or something so somebody else doesn't have to suffer the same tragedy I am. Police say there has been an increase in accidents at the intersection, and right now they're looking at what needs to be done to prevent another tragedy from happening. In the meantime, Reinsen's family is struggling to pay for her funeral and trying to explain to four young children why their mother isn't coming home. I want to give her the proper funeral that she deserves. And no mother should have to bury her child. And it has completely devastated me. But I've got to stay strong for my grandbabies who need me more now than they ever did before. The Kathleen Ross Rhineson Memorial Fund has been established at Fifth Third Banks across the tri-state. Kendall Harold, nine on your side in Edgewood. Dave and Teresa Wirt have been counting down the days until October. It's a big month for the Union family. One son returns home from deployment and the other son says I do. But their excitement was put on pause this week when they saw this, a news article about their youngest son's ship. When they made the turn to go up to the Red Sea, then we knew. Sean Wirt and the other 3,000 sailors aboard the USS Nimitz are now on hold, waiting for a possible U.S. strike on Syria. And the longer they linger, the more likely it is Sean will miss his big brother's wedding. That's a little tough right now. <laughs> yeah. Because he was going to wear his uniform and be, you know, be in the wedding. Wear his so, dress blues. That's going to be a little tough on the family. The words say no matter what happens, October 18th will still be a day filled with love for both of their sons and for other families across the country also waiting for their loved ones to come home. I'm sure for all the sailors that it's a big disappointment, disappointment but I know 
you know, they're all, you know, trained and ready to do what they're called to do. Kendall Harold, 9 on your side in Union.